What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back is your boy. Terabyte reacts in the house once again for some more black sales. <laughs> First episode was really enjoyable. Um, great introduction to the series in my opinion. A lot of adrenaline there. We got to see a, a, a pirate fight, <laughs> if you will. Um, very brutal. And... You know, um, this is was uh, on stars, so you expect them to go the distance. You know what I'm saying? This is no PG kind of stuff. You're gonna see blood. You're gonna see gruesome stuff. Stuff is going to happen. So, from what I can gather from the story so far, um, is we have this Captain Flint that is is like he's on this this journey of not being left behind you know what i'm saying he, he's trying to protect his people but i don't know if i agree with his methods of how he's doing this but at the same time you know what i mean like i i understand why he's doing it um you know and it seems like him and billy is going to have that you know he's they, they, he's gonna be a yin and yang kind of situation where you know billy's not gonna agree with everything he's doing but he does understand why he's doing certain things. So I'm looking forward to see that relationship in particular. If it's going to get better to do that actually has the page from the book. I'm not really sold on him yet. I think I think they're going to find him out pretty quickly. He's not really that convincing of, a, you know, seems like he can't keep this secret. They have Max who is trying to sell this page. So we don't know. You know, what I mean, um, we just we just don't know what's really going to take place but you know there there are people scheming in the background against the captain you know i don't know what their what their purpose is um you know but i guess with only one episode how much really are you going to know you know how much really are you going to find out from just watching one episode so let's go jump in and watch the second episode guys um as you guys know um black sales this episode is going to be on early access um for now and then it'll be out on the channel next week okay next week i'm gonna say this again next week <laughs> okay so um yeah let's go watch the episode if you have not liked the video yet please consider doing so before you go and watch the video of course thank you guys so much I appreciate you guys man I will see you guys for the review all right so that was a beautiful second episode if I should say so myself it was good it was good it was done well didn't have any issues with anything that they said or what am I talking about uh, sometimes I get so frazzled when I do my reviews because I do them directly after I finish watching the episode <laughs> but any case guys um, we get a better understanding of what Flint, Flint wants in this episode we definitely got a better understanding of what he wants or what he sees for the future so they he wants to set up on nasa right he wants to set up there um which i think nasa is in in the bahamas i think that's where they are if i'm not if i'm not right i'm pretty sure nasa is in the, is in the bahamas so i mean i'm pretty sure maybe back then or the time period that this is set in it probably wasn't called the bahamas back then but i know I know the capital of the, the Bahamas is NASA if I'm if I, I think so and they are in the Caribbean so um, so he wants to set up there you know fortify some forts set up some big guns some cannons whatever the situation is so they can fight off the forces just in case you know train the guys to be soldiers and all of this other stuff so he has plans and it's a good plan you know what I'm saying so I can rock with him as you know our main character in this story i could rock with them you know what i'm saying they all a bunch of criminals anyways but the thing about it is this like you know they they, they steal from each other and from other people 
you know, who are trying to make a legitimate living or whatever the situation is. And as I've said before, pirates have been, you know, written down in history as quote unquote bad guys. You know what I'm saying? So it, there's never a good annotation, you know, that's like put up against pirate piracy, right? There's never a good annotation there. So it's like piracy is always com considered something that is bad. So to see them kind of trying to, you know, show us an, an inside view, an inside perspective of, you know, what it could have been like. Because we don't really know, you know, what it was like back then as we are living today. Most of those people are dead off and gone. We don't know what it was like. You know, there may be accounts of it written down in history somewhere, but who knows how accurate it is because history is told by the historians. History is not necessarily told by the people who are actually there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so it, it's more of like your grandfather's or your great grandfather's story, you know? So that's what it comes down to most of the time when you hear these these stories or you see these things in the history book and stuff like that i'm not saying that the history isn't accurate i'm just saying that you don't know what it was like for a pirate back then maybe they just had to do what they had to do not out of maliciousness you get what i'm saying maybe they just had to do that to survive because of whatever the circumstances are it forced them into force them into that there weren't many options it's not like today where i look at criminals who choose to sell drugs who, who, who choose to do these things and then they have the 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 audacity to say that there is no other options <laughs> you know like as if we're still living in that time in that time back in the day and sometimes you know you are a product of your environment and i do i do understand that very profoundly like you can be a product of your environment but it still doesn't take away your choice and a lot of people think that you know as people will be like oh live like this or die you still have a choice and yes it sounds harsh you know what i'm saying and and, and some people will say who would choose to die over living like that hey man we are all living to die you get what I'm saying? We are all living to living to die. But I understand that nobody would choose death. You get what I'm saying? Nobody would, given the choice, nobody would choose death. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you're in the direst of situation, you're still going to think about it in the moment. You get what I'm saying? If you get that choice in the moment. You know, sometimes you can make a split decision you know, maybe to save somebody, jump into in front of a bullet for someone, you know, for your kids or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And in a situation like that, you really don't have time to think. It's just instinctively choose death. You get what I'm saying? But in certain, in, in, in most situations, you know, we always have choice. And that's one of the things that, you know, we, we always have, we always have that free will to choose so we don't know what pirates had to really deal with because we weren't there i wasn't there and as i said history is written by the historians you know and most of them weren't actually there you know it's just stories a lot of times and this has given me you know a a, a different perspective of what it could have been like not necessarily what it was but it could have been so um as i said i'm not classifying anybody here to be the good guy it's 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 a you know like i'm watching sons of anarchy right now like i'm rooting for the motor club but i still say they're a bunch of criminals because that is just what it is they're just a bunch of criminals but because they're the main protagonist in the story you got to choose a side you know what i'm saying because the cops are just as corrupted as the freaking criminals so they're all criminals <laughs> right but in any case guys 
appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man i'm looking forward to seeing what black sales is going to do um again i'm enjoying it two episodes in and i want to see more and more and more the situation that went down with max and eleanor you saw my opinion of it i felt like max felt some sort of way um about eleanor that was not reciprocated and she was blind to see that for me the nail in the coffin and why i said that eleanor didn't really have real feelings for her is because she was still paying for it to see max you get what i'm saying like she shouldn't have to do that she's a big dog on the island she can say to what's his name Noon noonan right she could say to noonan hey max is mine now you know what i'm saying i don't want her whoring no more you know what i'm saying i'm not paying for her no more let her come live with me and we good but that didn't happen you get what i'm saying like she has that kind of respect on the island i believe that she could have done that but she never did that because guess what max was just was just something on the side well not necessarily on the side she wasn't the main chick or the side chick she was just a chick you know what i'm saying so she eleanor didn't feel the same way about her she probably thought that you know what i'm saying you was just you know what i'm saying you was just the, the one she was hitting at that time I, that's just how i feel about that situation it was never love i don't know some people's gonna be like oh boo hoo nah and and this happens all the time you know what i'm saying whether it's women or men you know what i'm saying it happens all the time where you think something is where it's not is but when the clues are like knocking you in the face and you're not seeing that this person is really don't feel the same way as you do and it happens all the time but in any case guys appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment on this video and of course as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will catch you guys later man peace